Alright, so let's do a little bit of mobilisation for the hip and the knee. So just take a little bit of softness in the knee and then we're just going to take some little and then we're going to extend. So just bend and extend. Bend and extend. Bend and extend. And three and two and one. And then the other way. Try not to maybe go for quite as far as you normally would. So just gently down. I always watch that for a bit. Good. That's good. Two. and strength of the sort of ankle and knee area. So obviously your knee's just a um, hinge joint, so it only flexes and extends. So we're just going to circle through the ankle joint. Good, click, click. <laughs> and then circle back. And now we're just going to extend. And gently back in. And two. Three, if you want to come onto a balance, you can take the hands away. Four, four, three, two, and one. And just if you have been in like a flex position for quite a while, uh, like driving and stuff, we're just going to push that foot back. So it's just a little move. So you're just working a little bit into the hip extensors, working the glute a little bit. So eight, seven, six. Take a really lovely, really long kind of really reach fingertips. So you're creating some space laterally before you come over, taking the hand down and reaching, taking a beautiful in breath. And out. In. Last one. And back 
to centre and then bend that front knee, chin to chest, bring the hips back and just gently float down towards the floor, taking the weight forwards and the sit bones reaching up towards the ceiling. And just feel where you're feeling that stretch. Is it in the legs or is it actually going a little bit into the bum and the lower back? And take a breath in. And out. And out. Last one, breath in. Soften the front knee a bit more and gently, very gently switch from super sit down to side as we come up to centre. Shoulders back. Well done, let's come to that other side. So again, let's just hold on just to circle through the ankle joint. I'm just going to circle for four, three, two, the one, circle back, four, three, two, one. You can hold on if you want, or you can try and do a bit of a balance as we flex and extend. One and then bring the knee back and you just make sure you keep in the core engaged and you're just pushing the foot back a bit just to work a little bit, just isolated glute work. Four, three, two, one. Well done. Place that foot over again. Reach up really good. Okay compressed in our disc so just really reach up high first take a breath in send the hips out reach 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 breath in work today which kind of works the posterior chin and obviously with flexion we want to try and extend the hips as well and then side to side again a little bit out of center and you roll to the right how does that back leg and bum feel does it feel different to when you roll to the left and then just walk it out Let's take it into, if this is too much in a plank guys, because it's you can take the knee down and just take one leg up like that, or you can try and do a bit of strength work where you push the mat away, keep the um, shoulder blades apart, so don't pinch them together, and then take one leg out, I have done this for a while, I can all be alright, and then just lift the leg and lower. Lift, so you're actually, actually, that's not a word, actually, <laughs> you are actually, 
It's quite hard to say that. <laughs> Strengthening, you feel like your quad's working on the leg that's on the floor, but you're obviously working your butt cheek of the leg that's lifting. Hold, then take it back down, find your centre again, take the other leg out now, lift, not too high, squeezing. So working through the glute of the leg that's lifting. Keep pushing that mat away, not easy these. Four, three, two, one. And then take the hips up nice and high. Just walk the hands back a little bit and just gently start taking the heels towards the ground. And just have a little inch kind of bounce and just lifting the heels, taking them down, lifting the heels, taking them down. And then hold the heels down and then gently walk the hands back towards the feet. Don't come up just yet, just try and hang there. Again, don't worry if the hands aren't touching or the fingertips, just wrap them around the back of the legs so the feet can't touch the ground. And then let's just hang. Softening the knees to take it away from the back if you need to. Soften the knees a bit more to walk it back out into our plank position. And then from plank, we're going to keep the knees away in your plank, but we're just going to gently rock back like that and then back to plank. That makes sense. So almost like you're doing a little kind of frog kind of uh, child's pose. Uh, nice for the back. And uh, keeping the core engaged. going so we're going to go from kind of a hip extension to flexion move so you push your pubic bone down really important that you still think about the core so gently take that navel away from your spine you take the knee away and you point the foot you flex the foot you point and lengthen so point flex point lengthen that makes sense point flex point perfect oh point flex it's funny when you watch people sometimes do this and they're doing all sorts of funny things. So keep that core engaged, point, flex, point. And just notice what kind of the body's doing when your foot kind of changes actually. Four more, four. Try not to rock through the pelvis, keep the core engaged. Two more, two. And yeah. Now one, if you ever think it, you lose it. And then just grab hold of the foot. So if you've been driving a lot, your quads might feel tight from just being seated. So just pull that heel into bottom. Take a beautiful in breath. And out. In. And out. Two more. Last one. Well done, lengthen that leg. And then again, so always get your set up right. So push the pubic bone down, draw the tummy in. The knee comes away, you point, you flex, you point, you lengthen. Point, flex, point. Lengthen, keep core tight. Two 
Working the glutes, working the quads. Keep the hip bones on the ground. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Well done. And then just again, bring that heel into bottom, stretching through the quads. as well is just take the toes down and then you just take both heels towards one ground one side sorry and then the other just a little bit of a stretch for that lower back one more and beautiful and then just take the hands to uh, the shoulders Push your pubic bone down into the mat and then just see if you can, you might just want to go to there, but if you feel comfortable, you can come up into full cobra. My elbow always clicks when I do this, always. And then just take a nice wide child pose just for 30 seconds. Gently walking both hands round, reaching the top and over the bottom one. Take a breath in. Just before we turn over, guys, we'll just do four slow counter caps and take a breath in. Gently mobilising into the cat pose. So. And three more. Chin. So keep your little squeeze on the ball 
And then just gently roll the lower back. Let's do everything super slow today and really push the feet into the mat as we start bringing our spine away, bone by bone. As we come up onto our shoulder blades and we're sending our knees long. So our knees are going forward, our hips are high. We're taking a beautiful in-breath at the top. And make sure your rib cage is really closing in again as you gently roll yourself back down. Back to neutral. Let's take a breath in again. Gently exhale as we roll into imprint and start coming up. Squeezing the ball a little bit to activate the inner thighs and sending the feet firmly into the mat. Again, let's take a breath in and slowly down. Remember if our chest muscles get short, it can really affect breath. And back to neutral. Let's do two more. Breath in. Gently roll the lower back into the mat, squeezing the ball to activate the inner thighs, pushing the feet down to activate the pelvic floor muscles. Again, into bridge, take a breath in. And again, slowly lower. Push the feet in, fall, squeeze, up. And then just gently take your arms down by your side like we normally do, walking the fingers towards the feet. And just slightly elevate the right hip bone. So slightly elevate it and then back to neutral for three. Like a hitch, four, four, three, two, one. The other side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take the ball away, take the breath in, slowly lower. Give the back a bit of a rest because we're still going to do some more bridge work for knees. So we're just going to bring those knees into chest, have a nice stretch of that lower back. Have a little roll around if you want. Roll the other way. Beautiful. And then let's try and strengthen our hips and our knees again. So take the ball, oh not the ball, sorry, the feet back down. Keep that lovely length. So think about that goal post, but just obviously have your hands down by your side and shoulder blades in the mat. Try not to let the knees come out to the side as we roll up. So take a breath in. And again, gently roll the lower back into the mat. Firmly push your feet down as we come up into bridge. And then we're just going to really try, we might need to use a little bit of glute strength here. So if you feel you need to squeeze your glute muscles, you can. Push your left foot into the ground, take your right knee, away, uh, sorry, right foot away, so you're in tabletop, and we're just going to straighten it and bend it, straighten and bend, straighten and bend, straighten and bend. So using that flexion and extension of the knee, but also working the glue of the leg that's on the floor. Four, three, two, one, well done, take that foot down. Press that foot into the mat, don't let the hips drop. Bring the other leg up and extend and flex. Extend and flex, extend and flex. And just notice this one leg, does it feel strong on one side of the body when you're on that foot? My right leg, can't feel, feels lovely. My left one felt like it was working hard. Bring it back down, take a breath in. And slowly down. Bone by bone. Well done. Lengthen the left leg. Bring your right leg into tabletop. Left hand to the outside of the right. 
lower thigh and then just bring it into a supine spine. If it feels a bit tight back, rock it a few times. It can feel really nice to just have that little rock in action before you hold it. And then take a lovely inhale. Final breath. In breath. to centre, but just grab the back of the hamstrings and just bring the knee in, so just bring the knee into chest, and then straighten the leg, flex the foot, hold the calf, stretch, and then point away, flex, point, flex, and then circle for two, circle to the other way, and then flex again and just take the foot in and out, in and out. Very easy to neglect the ankle area. And then gently down. And let's go the other side. Oh my god, I just go with that. Yeah. <laughs> I've lost what I'm doing. And then take it over, yeah. And again, just take a lovely inhale, let the belly rise. And again. And back to centre. Just bring that knee into chest. Just a little bit of a back stretch. Hold. And then straighten the leg. Flex the foot, hold that calf stretch, and point, and flex, and point, flex, circle two, to the other way, and then I'm going to do that then, <laughs> and then in, and out, <laughs> in, and out. Then let's do a. Uh, so what we're going to do? I was just thinking about something really important. Then it was just oh, I know. Let's come onto the ball. Yeah. Let's just give ourselves just a couple of pelvic imprint releases. Yeah, and then find that neutral. Got that nice line through the front of the chest. So we're going to do single leg stretch, but we'll do two different foot actions just and see how it can change the feeling of the abdominal workout. So let's come up into one leg tabletop, then the other leg. So we're in double leg tabletop. Nice little chin to chest. Rib cage closes in together, drawing the tummy. So belly button away from the imaginary health t shirt. And we're going to point our feet first. So we'll take our right leg forward and slowly back in. Use that real level of control. Left leg and back in. And again. Imagine you had a thousand quid in it and your pelvis isn't moving forward and back. I do that often. <laughs> um. Oh, just if anyone's interested, apparently EasyJet flying from these brackets to Paris. My friend bought to fly to go out in December. They were going to go to Edinburgh for a few days. She thinks it's cheaper to go to Paris yet than on Lee's breath, but I think they've paid 25 quid going out and 40 quid coming back. That's mad. I know, it's mad, isn't it? You pay that in petrol to Edinburgh. Yeah. One more each side. And 
and then flex the feet again draw the tummy in. this time i want you to feel like almost like a piston so you want to feel like you're leading with the heel and then back in does that make sense so the toes are coming towards you i find this much harder on my core and again keep that core tight push the heel forward Not to let that pubic bone edge forward. So keep drawing the belly in. Eight. Six. Four. Two. And one. Beautiful. Press your ankles, bring your knees into chest. Four. And then just gently look before we do that the knee one guys, let's just cross our ankles. And we're just gonna take our hands onto our knees. And we're going to just going to do a rolling movement. So we're going to take the hips to one direction, come into a C curve and then back up to straight back. And again. unless you have an alternate, so yeah, not a constrictor, and then the other way if you do one. And just notice, is it a bit easier to go in that direction or is it harder, are you tighter through the mid-back? Yeah, I thought Emma might benefit more from a massage than a bunch of flowers. And she was like, yes! <laughs> and then over. a little bit 
looked up for something else. So you can actually, um, I don't need, I don't use it, but some people much prefer to sit on a block. So see how you feel. But sometimes it's nice to sit the bottom on a block and then you just feel like you've got a bit more upright. So we're just going to take our hands and our arms out nice and wide. Try not to let the shoulders hang. And we're just going to draw the tummy in. We're just going to gently take a rotation and then like a curtsy. And then reset back up, back and then rotation and then down, back up and back down again. And the more you do, you might feel like you can just bend that a little bit further, rotate. Reset, back to centre. I used to do this move with it when I did my training with a gorgeous Danilo from Sicily. He was a dancer. Oh, oh. And I used to love watching it like this. He used to be just like, oh, and then back up, yeah. And I didn't understand why it were an advanced move until you start teaching it in class because actually the full move is supposed to be kind of like wow. that. And it's, so I always say to people, don't over, you know, first just get used to the rotation a little bit and eventually you might get that a little bit better. <laughs> and I would never be Danilo, but um, hey -ho. And then just sit, keep sit, sitting on it if you want. And then it's going to be a bit hard this because we're sat up right, but draw, um, sat on the block, sorry, draw the tummy in and then just lift. And lift. So you're really working through the quadriceps. A little bit of a flex foot for six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Let that relax. And then lift and lower. It's actually easy on the block than when you're sat on the floor doing this. Four, six more. Six, five. Four, three, two, one. Can you feel your thighs a bit there? Yeah. And then just nice little butterfly. So what it allows you on the block is just to just push the knees a little bit further down. Well done, and then just come off your block, and let's just do a little bit, we'll do a little bit of side leg, yeah, just a bit. So we're just going to bend the bottom knee, and we are going to take our circle, I also have to do smallish circles, but we're going to take it, try and keep this stability, but we're going to make our circle bigger today, bigger, and almost bring it slightly to the back. Long. We want to try and create this length through the spine and then drop and lift, drop and lift, drop and lift, drop and lift. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Yeah, well done. Good. I did this in my winter one this morning. I'm like, oh my god. And then back onto, so really important, that glute strength. You can put the ball underneath if you want. You can keep the foot down. Whoa. You can push that knee away. 
Friday on my deck. That would be that. Oh, October, when did that happen? <laughs> Let's just do a nice profile and stretch. So if the leg that's underneath, lengthen it. The one that was on top, take it into tabletop and just push that knee across the midline. So you're pushing my inner knee towards the opposite shoulder. And then just lift up with the opposite hand and pull. So pull and push. Oh, gosh, my glutes are tight. Did a dance class last night. Oh, it was brilliant. I loved it. I was buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, well done, and then just come gently over to the other side. It's nice today, isn't it? It wasn't Monday off. Oh my goodness. And then lift up. So again, always make sure that top hip isn't dropping backwards. So forward, really create that length. So really move your bottom hand away from the top leg. And we're going to try and keep that stability through the pelvis. How does this sound good, is it? Keep that core tight, soften that bottom knee a bit, pull just to stabilise a bit. And circle the other way, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one over there. And then lengthen and again, really create length and drop and lift, drop, lift. I'm going to say hello to Izzy because I'm going to send this to Jo when you see him. Well done if you've got to the end of the uh, session. And for five, four, three, Done and just pull that heel into bottom, take a nice stretch. Has Emma been making you watch Strictly? <laughs> we watched some, but all the, all the problems surrounding it, I think it's taken a shine off. Oh no, it has a bit, hasn't it? Did you see that girl, Tasha, who's got the death, who's got the and um, she's got a hearing problem. She did, um, she's dancing with, she's dancing with, uh, oh, Ali Ash, I think. Oh, she would be, it would be beautiful. Really lovely. I know it's all a bit, you don't know what to think, do you, Paul? It's kind of push that knee away. I think sometimes with different cultures as well, it can come across, you know, because they're quite a fiery nation, the Italians, aren't they? But sometimes maybe it comes across a bit more. I think, I think just the culture around dance instruction is probably really harsh to start with. Do you know what? We, this class that we were at yesterday, um, Holly teaches it. She's an absolute sweetheart. And it's down at Madgate Mills. It was contemporary last night. I've never done contemporary in my life. And she was like, oh, Joe, this really suits you. I felt so special, you know? And she, she's just so inclusive with stuff. Like she was saying, a, a mum rung up about getting a, a son who's autistic, like quite severely autistic. She said, I would absolutely, I, honestly, Joe, I could have cried if they turned away from six dance schools. Wow. And it's an adult dance centre. Um, so they're very the complete opposite. It doesn't matter if you're in time, it doesn't matter. It's all about enjoyment. Yeah. But I think with something like Strictly, they're competitive, aren't they? And they're just in and out. But yeah, it's just... Yeah. And then just keep the feet either side of the mat. Internally rotate the right foot, the right hip. Let the knee just drop after. And just hold, opening up that hip flexor. Take a beautiful in breath. And out. And again, let the belly just rise. One more. Back to centre the other way.
your front. And let's just take a lovely rolling cat. So take the hips in one direction, go into your cat, and then the hips in the other, and into cow. Three more. Send the hips up nice and high, walk the hands back a little bit, take the right heel down, the left, the right, the left, four more, four, three, two, and one, and then soften the knees, walk your hands back to your feet, and gently, gently restart the spine back up. Take a step forward and then just take the heel down. Take a nice in breath. And out. In. And out. And the other side. Thank you very much. Have a lovely week.